morning guys it looks like it's winter because i've got my huge dressing gown on <laughs> but it's not it's just cold especially in this bathroom it gets so cold i'm about to run myself a nice bath i've not had a bath for ages gonna have a little face mask as well this is brazen honey this is one of my favorite ones and if i open it it looks like that and all those little brown bits are ground up almond shells when you rinse it off your face you also give yourself a little exfoliation as well it just makes my skin look really glowy and healthy and just gives it a little pick me up and then one of my favourite things to listen to on my Spotify when I'm in the bath, especially on a Sunday, is a bit of Nora Jones. Love her. So believe it or not, I actually ran out of bath bombs the other day. I've not had one for ages and every time I want a bath, I can't because I don't have any bath bombs. So I popped into Lush the other day and just picked up Blackberry. It doesn't look very exciting and it doesn't really do that much, but um, it does make the water an awesome sort of bright purple. So I thought that ultraviolet bubble bar would go really well with it. I've just got a little chunk of it here. And as usual, I'll use Defluff Strawberry Shaving Foam to shave with. And then I have my Yummy Mummy Shower Gel, which has been upside down because it's almost towards the end. Ooh. Oh, it's just such a pretty color. I love this. I only really tried this a few months ago. I actually really like it. Look how pretty that is. Wow, look at that. Random string of purple. Ooh. All ready now. Dog got into my bath after me. Does anyone else's boyfriends do that? They say, oh, you spend so much money on Lush and all that, but they're more than happy to get in the bath after you. Then he was really sweet and popped into town and got us both a coffee. I just got what I had yesterday, decaf, two pump caramel latte. Got myself an almond croissant as well. Oh, they're so, so good. So we've been in the car for about an hour now. I haven't actually said what we're doing today. So we, um, we thought we'd have a nice little, little trip, little Sunday um, adventure together because we've not really done anything together have we because dog's been working his little socks off and he's been working monday to saturday um, and he'll leave the house at like six in the morning and then be back about half seven so we've not really had much quality time together we thought right where where can we go that we haven't been to before we go to brighton all the time um, well not all the time but we've been a lot and um when i was younger i've kind of done the whole hastings eastbourne thing so um was it your work colleague that recommended Whitstable? Yeah. Yeah, so we're on our way to Whitstable. A bit random. Never been in this area before. But we, yeah, we wanted to go to a seaside town, even though it's not like majorly hot. It's quite nice and sunny and it's warm, it's comfortable. So yeah, it should be a good day. I was about to say, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me, but of course I'm going to bring you guys along with me because I'm doing Vlogtober. Uh, vlog Jesus. Right, if I'm not calling it Vlogmas, I'm calling it Vlogtober. It's Vlogist. <laughs> gonna do park and ride so we parked our car and then we're gonna pop onto a bus it shouldn't take that long to go on the bus should it no. where did we where were we with your family was it wales that we did park and ride yeah it was cardiff oh cardiff yeah, yeah. that didn't take long but we can see the sea Just Oh my goodness, it's so busy here. We've just been in to the little town bit. They've got so many cute shops. I just want to spend all my money. And now we're just walking along the beach. Just seen a man with a parrot on his shoulder. I actually do. Like it was a huge, huge parrot.
So we're just waiting for fish and chips now. Mm. Can't remember the last time I had fish and chips. It's actually really hot. That's what is so annoying about British weather is you never get any clue that it's going to be hot and then it's boiling and you dress too warm and then the next day you're like right oh where will my summer start tomorrow and then it's cold again <laughs> so i've just had to take my jumper off we finally got our fish and chips looks really really good and douglas has gotten some oysters <laughs> you tried them for the first time on your birthday meal didn't you mm. so they're famous for oysters here yeah yeah <laughs> i don't like them no, come out. <laughs> oh. How is it? It's okay. <laughs> that translates to <laughs> not too sure. this cute little shell. Did anyone else when they were kids just spend half the time on the beach just trying to go through all the pebbles to find cool pebbles? I used to have such a huge collection. I don't know where they've gone. Oh that one's cool. Oh my god there's this guy over here doing, whoa! That's so random. They're doing yoga or whatever over there on their boards. What are those boards called? Stand up paddle boards. Oh. Oh do more stuff. I, I thought she was trying California. to teach him. In California, that's a big thing, right? Like, yeah, I've I've seen loads of people um, works, on Instagram do it. Works with like core strength. Yeah. yeah. Had a little look around the market. I didn't film much just because I didn't know what I could and couldn't film so they were all quite independent places but um, now we are back into town because we want to get some flowers for Doug's grandparents because they live close to here so we're going to pop around and give them a card and some flowers just to say thank you for letting us have their place in Spain oh I can't see anything we're back at the car trying to let it breathe a bit so hot you know when it's been in the sun and then you <laughs> open the car door and it's just like it's like opening the oven we got some flowers for his grandparents well mainly his grandma because uh, i don't think his granddad really cares um, and we found these ones oh can you see them found these they're so pretty i really love the um the yellow and the pink together and i really like these orange things i don't know what they are yes yeah, so we got those yeah so we're gonna head to his grandparents Oh, trying to do this one-handed. This isn't going to work. I look so silly right now. Um, we're just checking out the right, inn first. I think you should just call in then. We're back home now. Why does my hair look so crazy? Well, spent about an hour. Doug's grandparents had a quick coffee and um, then we drove back and we're stuck in traffic for so long. And now we've run back home and then we're gonna head out again to go to Doug's parents to have some dinner. So I'm gonna leave you guys here because I just, I won't vlog when I'm there. So we're back from Doug's parents, had a really yummy dinner. We had this like pasta, creamy, salmon-y thingy. His parents and his siblings were away in Norfolk for the week and they've just gotten back and they bought us some presents. So in here there's some, is it beer or ale or? I think it's ale, yeah. And then I've got some chocolate. This looks so good. Salted caramel and peanut. And then in here is because they know that I love bunnies. Let's do it on here so I don't break it. Oh. And they got me a little a little bunny rabbit. Look at it. Focus. There we go. This cute little bunny rabbit. And you hang it on something. So excuse our washing. You can like hang it on the side of things like that. How cute. I've decided to put my little bunny on the top of this photo frame. Feels so good to be in bed. So knackered after today. I don't know why. Doug's hiding. <laughs> You've been so quiet in today's vlog. I promise you guys when he's quiet it's just because he's quiet normally. Not because he hates being in the vlogs or anything. 
just so you know. It was a good day. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us. And I will see you in a couple of days. Um, yeah. Bye.